Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to another last Epoch Dev stream. As always, I'm your host, Mike. How's it going? Whew. Was uh, a bit of a rush to get here, but we made it. Sorry, I'm a little late starting. Hope everyone's having a wonderful time. We're gonna hop. We're, we're hopping right into Monolith. We've got our Meteor Mage on our way to our Lightning Meteor Mage. Hello, Andrew. How are you doing? I hope you're well. My camera's a little off-center there. It falls down regularly. All right. Let's get into this. Let's get playing. I've been working a lot on some Rune Master stuff lately, and it's... Starting to feel good. So I'm, I'm like playing mage here and rune master and like all the testing stuff right now. It's funny. It's 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 interesting to 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 try the I guess the old like the old version or the way that it is now. Was a poorly cast meteor. Oh, how's everybody doing? How's, I feel like there's there's lots of uh, D4s getting settled. Having some fun with that. Starting to get a feel of what that's going to look like longer term, which is great. Don't forget to hear a question. Oh, yeah. As I, I didn't go through the spiel, let's do the spiel. I forgot it completely. Thank you. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask, and please tag at Last Epoch Game with the question so I see it and answer the question. I'd be happy to do so. Um, all of the proceeds for the stream, all of, all the money, everything goes directly to charity. It's above my head, direct relief. That's our charity of the month. There'll be a new one in a couple weeks, uh, and I am playing on the live build version of the game. So this is. Not uh, what, what you're seeing gameplay on the screen is not, um, it's not new, it's not extra, it's just ho ho. There you are. But I do have some little teasers to share with you as we go throughout the stream. I want to power through this one and get to the next one. I should really look up where that staff is uh, most available. <laughs> someone wants to, someone do that for me? If you, uh, if anyone wants to look at where the lightning meteor staff comes from for me, I'd really appreciate it. <laughs> uh, I can do it myself. All right, <laughs> Andrew. Um, hockey is done now, so I have nothing to watch in sports. Yeah. Um, I didn't. I didn't. Uh, I didn't watch much of it. I really love. Um, I really love international hockey. So like um, Olympics, World Juniors, stuff like that. Those. Those are my. Those are my jams. Oh yeah, I forgot I have a Weaver's Will unique equipped. Fill to an armor. Is it slay enemies? Yeah, it's slay enemies. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. Is there a question I missed? With item factions requiring favor to perform many actions within it, pretty well all actions, uh, where does that leave the once touted favor system? Is this still a progression system that has not uh, that's not tied to your character level or any one end game activity, or is this, or has its role changed become because of item factions? Um, I, I th it just got implemented early. Um, with item factions is, is all it really was. So um, this is a um, an end game progression system that is not tied to experience, um, as as because you'll use favor to uh, to progress along these faction systems. Um, and it's it, I think one thing that may not have been clear in the in the initial post, um, but I'm pretty sure it was mentioned, is that the um, this 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 um, 
this item faction system is an early part of an overarching favor system. So the uh, there we are building the UI for this. We're building the, the design for it in a way that we are planning to have other factions show up um, that will that, that will that will work in different ways. So it won't be like a okay. So look, I, I I don't know why I love drawing on my screen to explain stuff, but I just do. Um, <laughs> uh, items. So you'll have you'll have the like the items category of factions, and then you'll you'll have that split into um, MG and COF, um, and then you'll have like another factions uh, another different faction that'll be split into two, and then you might have like another um, pair of factions that are split into two, and you'll you'll be able to like pick one and then pick this one and then pick this one, and and so they're not exclusive. Um, they're not exclusive with each, like, if you pick one out of this group, you can still pick one out of this group. Um, and maybe maybe this one is actually four, and you have to pick one of four, something like that. So there's, um, we're, we're, we're building it as a, as a larger faction system, uh, and just the first one, the first piece of it to show up is the items. Factions. And and yes, things have changed a little bit, um, but that, that's just that's what happens as you implement systems; they adjust slightly. <laughs> but nothing, nothing major. There wasn't like a big paradigm shift or anything like that. It was just sort of a, um, hey, we've got this item faction or we've got this faction system that is coming. Um, do we want to like? Can we use the items? Can we use it to implement uh, trade, not trade, optional system as well at the same time? I also did see a question on uh, I think it was Reddit, but I can't remember about uh, the the the, the t um, portal opening time. So now we have the um, the portals that have uh, the VFX portals, the MTX portals. There we go. The MTX portals uh, now apply to your uh, the green portals can now be changed how they look. Um, and there was concerns about the opening animation time. The portals are functional the instant they're created, uh, and you don't have to wait for the animation to finish to use them. So you can just like just slip into it right away. And you may have just seen that happen as I was um, leaving the last monolith. The portal did uh, was functional a fraction of a second after it opened, um, after it started opening. All right, next question here from the stream. Will last that epoch be on the Steam Summer Sale? No, it will not. Well, okay, I shouldn't say it with such confidence. Um, I have not heard anything about that, and the information we've announced in the past would say it is not going to be. So as long as marketing hasn't changed their mind. Uh, the Stolen Lance timeline has the unique or staff echo, so thank you. Um, yeah. Uh, planning a path. Like, I mean, we're on it, but... Yeah, we'll get there. Might might stick around for it. <laughs> is all I'm thinking now. I mean, maybe, maybe I I went this way on purpose then. Right at the end of the last stream, I did this by mistake. Oh, nope, still same ones. Almost want that notification to say like if a new stat was added or if one was just improved. I don't know if it does. Maybe there's a distinction there. I'll keep an eye out for it. Alright, next question. Okay. Ooh. 
yeah, definitely looking forward to uh, when it will be in game. The items, uh, the items one looked already nice. If it still is like it first mentioned, of course. Yeah, I mean we we haven't changed any designs on it. I know there's uh, all 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 the, the I saw a bunch of UI mockups recently that looked great. Shout out to the UI designer. All right, so the simple question is, what does the new ARPG on the block do that you wish you could? Uh, instead, I'd like to ask what uh, they do that you can do and are considering how to present it slash implement it. Um, there's, there, there isn't anything that uh, I can say like, we've, we've looked at and said, hey, let's go do that. So nothing. Because um, we've, we've got a lot of things on our plate already that we're like, okay, this is, this, there are, there's lots of things we've looked at and said, hey, that would be cool to do. Um, so the first half here suggested uh, our, our question there. But um, there's, there's, there's nothing that's like high enough priority that we're like, okay, that'll bump this feature. Oh, that'll bump this feature. Um, it's really nothing. But uh, not terrible. Out. Yeah, so, so so basically nothing, really. Uh, I think I think what it really like the, the thing that stuck out that sticks out to me is the um, the casting animations are really good, and in some cases like pretty intense, and pretty involved, especially when it's going to be a like a longer a longer cast effect and a bigger impact ability um like the it's a lot of presentation stuff that they've done really 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 great job on um which like, comes as a shock to no one really <laughs> uh and there's there's a lot of uh, so there's a lot of discussions that come in about like comparing systems and things like that and like oh is there a system you can pull from one game to another game that sort of stuff like can can this game implement that game's whatever system um, and it's not just D4, this is the sort of, sort of conversation that, that's happened since we've started making this. Um, and almost always my, my response is, that system works great in that other game, you know? Um, and it's really rare that you can you can cherry pick a system from one to another, because usually there's a reason why you've, you've implemented it in a certain way. There's a reason why you've, um, like, like the, you, you know, <laughs> it's hard to explain. The the way these syst the systems all interact with each other has a huge impact on their on their individual system functionality and, and how they feel and that sort of stuff. And um, I don't know. I'm I'm really not a big fan of, of trying to take an, an individual specific system and say, hey, let's let's pull this um, like whatever system from that game to this game. And cause usually it's, it just doesn't fit. And there's um, you know, like as you're developing, the, you're developing all sorts of things simultaneously, and uh, yeah, you, you can't pull if you can't pull everything, which you can't. Um, I don't know; it's, it's tricky to pull anything. So we we like to just focus on our game and try and make our own stuff that we think is cool. Hope that makes sense. Uh, da, da, da. all right. There's not much known about lost memories. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and last time I brought it up, you said the original vision for it wouldn't work anymore with the changes made to the other endgame systems over the years. However, you guys kept it around uh, because of some of the thematic stuff it really hits. Is it still the case? Uh, and if so, what are those thematics? If it's been changed, can you talk about it from a high-low perspective? Uh, yeah, I mean, um, so I, I guess Lost Memories as like a concept is, uh, high-level concept for Lost Memories would be a system, like really broad, sort of like a general description of the system, but not describing the details of how it would function at all and work. 
kind of a system to it would it would part of part of what it would be would be to draw in um, information from the world and help with storytelling, help with world building would be a big part of it. So like, um, let's assume Lost Memories uh, have each each one of them has like a story piece associated with them. Let's just assume whatever whatever Lost Memories are. Um, and and you can you you you're using these items as pieces of a story. And I just clicked of of an interesting uh, relevant example on a current game that just came out. Um, the uh, if you played Tears of the Kingdom, the new Zelda game that just came out, there's a one of the one of the quests, one of the main story quests is to collect tears of uh, tears tears of something. I'm trying to say this without spoilers for anyone who hasn't seen it. These little teardrops you have to go around the world and collect. Uh, they're in specific places, and they, they have a big story moment that goes with them. Um, and when you, when you get all of them, something happens, and you get a big thing that does cool stuff. <laughs> um, awesome game. If you, if you haven't played it, everyone. I mean, <laughs> it's not like it needs championing, because it's, yeah, it's Zelda game. Anyways, um, having this, this like thematic tie-in to the storyline for a mechanical system... Um, that, that revolves around things to collect. And, um... I'm sorry I'm being so vague. It's really hard to talk about it without uh, discussing what the original plans were. Because, you know, you might you might still use something similar. Um, and I'm being so vague. I'm not really saying anything. I'm sorry. But, yeah, it's... I, I think there's still... There's still room to, and we still want to, incorporate more of a... Um, a storyline interaction with with an endgame system like that 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 really um, draws on the time travel elements and draws on the fact that like hey these are like there there could be alternate timelines maybe or there could be um, just like things that you maybe never never knew about or like like other characters that have experienced this this time traveling before without you or you know th things like that where there's ways to explore the storyline through a mechanical system. Um, and having those be discrete things in the world. I think that broad description could still very well be used. I'd like to see it. I mean, the really obvious, like, like we can't do this because of the way our crafting system works. But the really obvious, like, example of this would be like, okay, well, here's here's a memory, and once you've like collected all the pieces of the memory, you're like, here's here's a memory, and there's maybe you need like, it's a memory about some character who is fighting Wingari, and so you need to get like five uh, drops from Wingari that are not items that are just, like like uh, monster and frequency or something, and like you combine them with the memory, and it like unlocks the memory, and there's like a story moment that you can watch if you want or something or read if you want or something and then like the item then sockets to your gear or something I don't know I'm making this up as I go so, something like that if that makes any sense alright sorry botching that question Hard, hard horribly alright the monolith became a drag with the uh, area with the two chests and the blacksmith always the same is it possible to have uh, wandering wildlife like dogs and, and toucans walking around the mini dinosaurs randomized. Uh, you mean the, the 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 rest area? Yeah, the rest area could could use with maybe some some revitalization. Maybe. Um, I don't. Uh, I, I I won't write anything down from suggestions on stream here. So if you've got a suggestion like that, please head on over to the forums. All right. Uh, I forgot to ping my last question. Okay, I will read it now. I assume this. Is, I assume you guys do not uh, do not. Do not a date for 1.0, uh, but is there a roadmap for one, to 1.0? All the features that are planned before full launch, I, not really. So the um, we we do have a date planned for 1.0. We've got an internal goal for 1.0, um, and we have a list of features that are sort of our like internal must-haves, um, and then we've got another huge list of features that are our. Um, hopes we have for it <laughs> um and we can't really put those hope we have features on our roadmap um 
because there's there's a lot of them. There's a lot more than we think will be possible to, to, to get in for 1.0. And so there's like almost no matter what that list is going to be, have things missing off of it from the 1.0 launch. Um, so the, the things that were like, okay, well this is getting in for 1.0 no matter what, like all the resources go make it happen type features, there's only like three of them. Um, and so suddenly our roadmap is just like masteries, item factions, Performance improvements. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> it's, it's kind of an underwhelming uh, roadmap to release, you know? Um, especially because we are doing a ton of other stuff. It's just those are the only things that we're like, these will for, sh for sure be in. Like, we're, we're doing these. Um, so really, that's about it. Not a bad one. Mm. Yeah. XP? XP. What's the bad thing? Yeah, it's fine. They focus attacking me anyways. I don't have any minions. Alright. Will you be buffing set pieces a little t uh, a little bit to make them a bit more viable? Not talking Diablo level of sets, but at least make it where you'll want to pick it up. Um, we have a plan for set items, um, in a, uh, more systematic level change. So something that will, uh, change the way set items interact with the item systems in general and, and the other, other items you're collecting and things like that. Um, we're not prepared to quite reveal what that is and how that's going to work, um, uh, cause it's still in. Uh, like just out of design phase, uh, but we will continue to rebalance the game as we go in general. If you've got specific suggestions of rebalance changes you'd like to see, please head on over to the forums and leave a suggestion in the feedback and suggestions thread section. Uh, you guys. Constantly hiring, asking for a friend. Yes, we have a um, we have a careers page on our website. Uh, I think it's just eleventh hour dot game slash careers, I believe, or you can just Google eleventh hour games careers, which is how I find it. <laughs> um, and there are uh, there are uh, career listings there. Yes. I know we just the someone that just got onboarded yesterday. Or was introduced at least, started their onboarding. I'm not sure where they are in that, that process. <laughs> that meteor shower just, just goes ham. Give me that XP. Love to see it. Alright. Sure. Oh, okay, let's go. We got the mana. Yeah. Alright, next question, what am I doing? Just like, oh, having fun playing. <laughs> uh, not so much question, but kind of a suggestion. Kind of a suggestion? <laughs> Post one point oh release, will there uh, will there ever be any plans to do community collaborations where the community designs me unique items? Contest we vote on to possibly be implemented later. Um, we have so we, we've done this before. This is not this is not a new thing. Um, and yes, we we, we probably will uh, look to do it again because it was very successful the first time. Um, uh, it's it's a uh, it's a sphere, void sphere. Um, 
I believe. It's a staff? I can't remember. Yeesh, that's bad. Anyways, <laughs> yes, we, uh, we've done it before, we'll do it again. Is that chicken? Yeah, it is. Yes. Picking up random rings? Gross. Gross! Yeah. Ah, classic mic problem. Gotta tighten up that loop filter and I just ignore everything right now. <laughs> uh, you know what? Before we start this, I've got a little, little, little teaser here. Oops. Oops. Here's a little teaser. This is a... I don't know what this is, actually. But here's a little, it's, it's a, it's a crop or, or a start, start a new trend, I guess here, trying to get more things in, um, but don't want to just like give everything away so that social posts don't have anything. Um, so I've, I've asked for like little, little snips of things. And, uh, so here is a small snip of a larger picture that will be revealed later. Um, and I do not know what it is myself, but it's something cool. I'm told. So yeah, just a little, little something there <laughs> as we go. Anyways, next next thing here. So when is the Arena Push stream happening? Oh yeah, I did mention that I was going to try that. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll do that. Uh, I'm not sure when. I was just told what that was. Oh, I know what that is. Sweet. Okay, that's awesome. <laughs> Now I'm burdened with having to lie if someone asks or guesses it right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're push stream. Yeah, I'll do, do, do one of those soon. I'm not sure when I'll do that. Hey, Strine, let's go. Hey, Strine, reflect. So many shrines, what is going on? Alright, next question. Uh, any plans to add PvP? Yep. Not for 1.0. Shield, shield, shield. I mean, we don't do much damage over time. We could, we could try and uh, chaos the damage over time and just get spell damage. Oh my gosh. Uh, Alright. Sweet. Take that to the bank. Uh, four, only 14 uh, left though. So we'll just discovery this to get a free one. Uh, I'm just gonna... Oof. Oh, taking beats. Oh. That did not... That did not end strong. Started strong. Did not end strong. It's unfortunate. But... I mean, I still think it's a very nice upgrade. Let's go for that. And I just realized that I'm way over stability for this. <laughs> like, way over stability. I could probably just, like, bail on this. Let's just finish it. Alright, next question. Uh, hello, hello. Have a good stream. Thank you very much. Uh, do dev teams start to create three missing classes, or are they not in work now? They are very much in work. Um, I'm all, all I'm doing right now is working on Runemaster. 
um, a bunch of us are working on uh, two nodes left in one of their abilities that I'm struggling with. I can't get a raycast to detect the right things, the right layers. So, something's wrong with the layer mask and the raycast. I'm not sure what it is. I'm like almost positive it's going in the right direction, but it's just returning nothing every time. Trying to work out a new way to have abilities interact with other abilities, so it's gonna see if it's gonna like hit another one and like do something in response. It's not playing nice, it's being kind of a jerk, you know. Uh, <laughs> happy Friday, Mike and Ishii. Happy Friday, Master Sword. How's it going? Uh, thanks for all the opportunity to interact with you guys about the wonderful game you guys have created. You're welcome. Question. Uh, when will swords become the most superior weapon in LE? I mean, if we're talking just, like, cool factor, they already are. Come on. Swords, swords, swords are so cool. I don't know. Oh, come on, just die. <laughs> Tragic there. All right. Uh, I know there's a way to set up autocast by using numlog, but can there be a UI implementation where you can right click on your bar and make something autocast, mainly buffs, not damage abilities? Um, it, it is possible that we could create something like that. Um, we don't currently have plans to set that up. If you have a suggestion and you'd like to see get implemented in the game, please head on over to the forums. Leave a suggestion there. Right, I'm going to do this and actually complete the boss. <laughs> My goodness. Uh, <laughs> our previous tree threshold nodes for all base classes and masteries a 1.0 feature or a flex feature that's more hoped to have by 1.0. Um, I would say I would call it a flex feature. It's um, something that uh, I, I think will happen, or at least be expanded on. Like getting getting a few in is not that big of a deal. Um, so, some of the passives need more attention than just like, hey, let's toss a few of these nodes in. Um, so it's 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 hard to make changes like that without taking a more granular look at those trees. Um, so I'd say like it's it's going to be a, an ongoing thing, and then that's just like the nature of of passives in, in general. Like they're going to be they continue to evolve as we go. I've seen the game got some backlash on Steam reviews after adding microtransactions. Uh, that was one of the reasons people gave, but it was unfortunately incorrect technically. That's fine. Um, what is your opinion on it? Personally, I'm confused as to why the people would be so upset about it knowing microtransactions were coming in the whole time and the pricing isn't even that bad. Um, I, I, I think that there's uh, there, there are some fundamental uh, ideals revolving around this sort of thing where there are um y you know there's there's i guess hard things that are sometimes considered just just bad no matter what um like the term the term loot box is here i'm gonna i'm gonna defend loot boxes here <laughs> ready ready for this <laughs> um i i think that as soon as you hear the term loot box and Almost every single implementation of loot boxes I've seen has been awful. Almost every single one. Um, and as soon as you hear the term, the knee-jerk reaction is, oh my god, no. Um, 
and it doesn't really matter what the other information around it is. It's just it, this is bad, and um, I, I think that happened to a degree here, um, where the the all all the information wasn't taken into account, and the information that um, if you selectively pick pieces of information not maliciously just because that's the information you see from like a, a YouTube video maybe or um, just like the, the the title of a reddit post or something and and maybe you're not invested in the game to go and, and do like full research on it and I mean, we don't expect people to do it either um, and because that's kind of that's on us to uh, to use our marketing to, to like convey all the relevant information right um, and sometimes all that relevant information doesn't get out properly and conclusions get drawn based on incomplete information or possibly incorrect information um, and I, I, I think that's what that's what happened here so there's there's a lot of knee-jerk reactions of um, uh, a plus B equals bad um, no matter what and uh, it's not always the case you know a plus B most of the time equals bad but given C D E F G H I it's not bad <laughs> you know um, and uh, I, I think the same thing can happen with loot boxes as well, which is why I started here with loot boxes because they're so, generally so terrible. But um, I mean, hy hy let, let's 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 describe a hypothetical loot box system that's actually really great. Um, you've got um, you've got fifty. Let's say you've got fifty MTX items in in a store, um, and they range from one to ten dollars each. Um, and you have a uh, a loot box that you can buy that uh, that is one dollar. Um, so no matter what, as far as value of like how much the MTX you get out, and, and all, all the all the loot boxes is just one random MTX um, that you don't already have. So it's like worst case scenario, you get one that you don't want, but is still is you paid one dollar for one dollar MTX. You know, it's it's worst case scenario, you did not overpay for something bad. You just maybe didn't get your favorite one, um, and that's a loot box system that I would I would argue is you know it's and 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 this is assuming that the items coming out of the loot box can't be sold and have no real world money value. You know it's 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 by a random thing, um, and like if that's if that's the whole system, like I think that's awesome personally. And I've um, the the closest thing I've experienced to that was the I have no idea if they do this anymore. It was the uh, League of Legends. Uh, random skin gifting uh, that, that came out I think for either Christmas or April Fool's Day or something like seven years ago or something ridiculous. Um, that's one of the only times I've ever spent money on an MTX in a game was was that, and it was it was great. Like you you ended up with I think I think that one it was slightly more expensive than the cheaper skins you could get. Um, and my experience with it may have been skewed because I did get really, really lucky. But I mean, it was it was cool. You're you're generally spending cheap, a cheap little thing to gift someone a random skin. Like that's a loot box. Um, I know I'm kind of debating with with thin air because I'm not looking at chat right now. <laughs> but I mean, yeah. So I, I guess what I'm saying is that there's 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 room for. Um, gray areas with all these things and, and taking into account the whole picture is really important. How loot boxes have uh, been utilized in a lot of situations where um, they're significantly more expensive than the cheapest thing and the uh, the objects can be then sold for real money and things like that. Like that's that's just just gambling with extra steps. Which, you know, like, there's nothing inherently wrong with gambling if it's presented as gambling and presented to, to people who can responsibly gamble and are, and are people who are not able to responsibly gamble are, are taken away from it. And, you know, that, that sort of stuff. Like, it's... There's a reason why there's humongous regulatory boards that, that deal with gambling in, in most countries. Like, I don't, know, I don't know where you guys live, but here there's, like... There's there's ads on radio and on TV that are basically like, don't gamble too much. It's like government ads that are just like, you know, like, if if you can't afford to gamble, don't. <laughs> That's important, I think.
All right. Actually, another question here to ramble about while I'm doing this instead of uh, making a bigger fool of myself. Uh, our passive tree th Oh, I answered that. Just FYI, I reported a bug with rebuke. Cool. I'm not going to look at it. Sorry. <laughs> Someone else will. Stand over here. My meteors are over here. Come on. What are you doing? plans to add an item drop list in game that would show where to farm uniques uh, uh probably not no. like like a, a detailed like everything comes from here no I, I, I don't think so maybe we have no plans for it i'd be shocked if we added that Boxes are like NFT. No one, no one need it. I, I, NFTs are way worse. <laughs> All right. Hey, are there any item filter upgrades in the works? Like changing the font size? No, that will not happen. Altering crafting materials? No, that will not happen. Roll ranges, no, that will not happen, and legendary potential related values, uh, that's not planned, and I don't think it'll happen. Uh, but yes, there are <laughs> loot filter changes that will, uh, that will, like, improvements that will happen. Um, I don't know what they, uh, there's no specifics that I can see, like, this is the next one coming or anything like that. We really specifically, and this this is a concept that I I, I find uh, doesn't go over well when I say it, but um, we do we do really intentionally make it so you can't make a perfect filter, so you can't say like okay if it drops I pick it up. Um, that's that's the, that's a situation that we really don't want people to be in, um, where you're still evaluating gear that drops to say like hey is this something that I want? I think that's a really important step. In the in the, the leveling process, the character building process, the the like your growth as a player for like um, discovering new builds and and discovering items for alts maybe and um, even just discovering new items for your own character that maybe you didn't consider would, that would be awesome or um, you know and to prevent people from uh, having their loot filters set up too strictly. Uh, there's there's a whole bunch of reasons why um, we we don't want perfect filtering to be a thing. Uh, I can do relic. Not quite what we're looking for. That's okay. And we press on. All right, we were gonna we were gonna ascend ascend all of our, all of the staffs we found. Um, and that's what we got this for. <laughs> All right. More questions, more questions, more questions. There's a question. Will Diablo 4 season and PoE 2 affect the release of 1.0? And how are you working? Uh, how are you working plan? How are you working plan on working around them? Um, so so the, this, we, we do, we, we have a pretty good idea of um, when PoE 2, D4 seasons and releases and things like that are happening. And we have... Like, like we we don't know for certain, but we have, we've have, uh, rough estimates that we're um, 
we we think we think are pretty good because we've played these games for a long time and you know like uh, you, you, you start to fit, i'm sure people have a pretty good sense of roughly when these things are going to be we, we think we do anyways um just because we, we like you know, play a lot of these things and you know have our, have our own that we're releasing and you, you can you, you, get, you get a feel for when these things are going to start to happen um so we have planned around those releases for when we want our releases to happen um and so far in the last, like, um, year or so, of basically since Point .9 released, um, since, since, since Point .9 released and dropped multiplayer, all of the releases have happened as we've expected them, within about a week. Um, and uh, so if, if things keep on the path we expect, we should be not conflicting with anything. So... Yeah, we got, we got a little lucky with with that, <laughs> you know. Like, um, but there's there's people who have uh, have who are working on this, they've worked in the industry for a while, and you know, like a lot of us have been a part of this for a long time, and you you, you get pretty good at making educated guesses. Um, we've got we've got a few. We're like, this is the most likely one, and this will do if this happens. This is the second most likely one. And this will do if this happens. Type thing. So like, we've got contingency plans and everything, and. If it can't be avoided at all, you know, we won't, but we, we do plan to, you know, because we, we, we know a lot of people like to play more than one RPG. Present, you know, <laughs> and uh, um, we, we, we don't want to, we don't want people to have to choose between uh, different ones if we can avoid it. And uh, also just, you know, if a new release hasn't come out for either of the other two in, in a month or so, you know, it's much more likely that people will be ready to hop into this one. So yeah, we do try and strategically place our releases such that they don't collide with uh, Diablo and PoE. Can we get a sneak peek of the Warlock and Falconer? I don't really have anything to share about those right now. Um, Rune Master is definitely the farthest along of the three so far. Uh, but yeah, there's um, like there's stuff happening for them. They're coming along. They're advancing. Uh, they're gonna be sweet. <laughs> I, I sorry, I don't really have anything to share with with those. Um, we have shared little things here and there, and. Um, Andrew Tilly, who's here, will has has a forum thread that has probably all of that info on it. It's, it's on our forum. It's called I think uh, we sprung a leak. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. How are you today? I'm feeling pretty good today. You know. Um, Gonna gonna go play some magic later tonight probably. Might play some more Zelda later tonight. Been exploring the depths. Oh, it's awesome. Fools. Fools. I do wish the dungeons had been bigger. Just finished the last one of those. Tons of fun. I just wanted more. I have a question. My quest log says, discover the rest of the timelines in one of my epochs. I finished that specific timeline four times in a row now. Uh, I beat the Shade of Orvis, but the quest log is still not updating. What am I doing wrong? Very new to this game. Uh, I'm not 100% sure I've seen this bug before myself as well. Um, you may just have a, a quest log stuck in your quest list there. Um, there might be someone in the Ask the Community channel on our Discord that can answer that for you that has more experience with that. Uh, I'm not sure, sorry. 
Uh, do you think it's essential for uniques to have downsides for players to solve and not just be all positive advocates? No, I don't think that's essential. Um, I think if they're, I, th I think that's a really useful tool um, to be able to implement things that uh, would otherwise be completely broken, overpowered, um, and. Uh, I, I think it's. I, I think we've made a few mistakes when implementing those in the past. Uh, I think we're getting a lot better at implementing those, um, and we still have, still have stuff to learn in that category. But you know, it's it's tricky because you are. Um, it's hard to look past those negative things sometimes for players. Uh, but at the same time, it, it, it in order to be able to put in certain things that are awesome you kind of have to have these negative things. Um, and I know it's not an item, but a really quintessential example of a thing we did as a negative in order to make it possible to do the positive is Tempest Strike. Um, it's sort of our poster child of failed skills. And uh, in order to do the, the ability triggering system that we have for it originally, um, with, with all the other factors in the game, the only way to do that was to not have your ability scale with attack speed. And people hate that. People want their abilities to scale with attack speed. That is, that is a uh, <laughs> a very clear piece of feedback we got from that. And um, so we, we, we kind of have to solve that problem first before we before we can move on and, and fix the rest of that. Um, but no, I, I don't think uniques in general or anything in general like needs to like it's essential to have that downside. I think. Um, there's, there's, there is kind of a hidden downside to almost all uniques that uh, um, might not be always apparent, but certain item slots it's more apparent than others. Is that it's the opportunity cost of using that item in that slot. You lose the ability to put on um, certain affixes. So, like, uh, for example, um, boots have movement speed on them. A lot of movement speed. Um, and if you make a unique boots and a unique pair of boots, it better have. Almost every single unique pair of boots has has the has the actual like explicit and implicit affixes of increased move speed. Almost every single one of them, I'm pretty sure, has that or some variation on that. Um, yeah, like there, it is. both of these have it. Um, you know, like I don't have, but but like that's what I mean. Is like if you make a pair of boots that doesn't have move speed on it, that's not an explicit downside, but that's a huge downside that's like kind of hidden in there, and um, it's it's important to 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 get I that's the whole weavers well I didn't get I only got two half oh, grumble 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 um what was I saying oh yeah downsides yeah, yeah. Uh, so, so so sometimes there's like hidden downsides um and and I think that's the same sort of thing like that's that's more of a uh, common puzzle to, to implement and Cosplayers to, to work around is that opportunity cost. And there's other affixes like that, like cooldown reduction, um, uh, potion cleansing. Um, there's some, some cast speed things, uh, just damage on weapons, like flat damage on weapons. Uh, you know, so those, those are opportunity costs that, that kind of work as downsides, hidden, hidden downsides, I guess. But um, I think having those explicit downsides of, like, hey, now you're this much worse because this item's equipped, is is it's it's tough for a lot of people. It's a tough pill to, to swallow in a lot of cases. I think it has to be. It can be done really well strategically, and it has to be done carefully. Drink lots of water. Okay, I'm going to toss up a new teaser. Here's a little teaser. Yeah, it's pretty neat. I actually know what this one is. Yeah, let's answer a question while I'm doing this. Will Rune Master be closer to Trap Sin gameplay from D2 or you can't say yet? Uh, no, it's not going to be like a Trap Sin. Trap Sim is cool, but uh, it's not going to be like a Trap Sim. Rune, Rune Master is huge. There's there's a lot, like... Here's, I don't know all the abilities off the top of my head. <laughs> it's 
all I'm working on right now. I like, I like this idea of, of leaving these on screen, so I'm just going to stick this down here in the corner. That'll be the next one. I got one more after this. Alright, more questions, more questions, more questions. Since Tempest Strike is already on the chopping block, it's on the uh, changing block. <laughs> uh, can we play with the, the old one? Yes, you can play with the old one, but with the attack speed scaling, no. This is a little bit for the rework, no, sorry. No, because... Um, what if it's awesome, and uh, then we can't justify changing it? <laughs> no, it's just it's. Um, in order, if if we did that, there'd be there'd be a surprising amount of balancing work that would have to happen to get it actually tidy. Um, th there's a bunch of changes that have to happen in the skill tree as well, and um, as as soon as we do that. Uh, like that's we're, we're basic we're most of the way to just doing the rework it's probably a similar amount of work to just do the rework um, and uh, we've just got other priorities right now mostly the masteries <laughs> Should we do a set item? Probably not bother, right? Eh? Are there any details that you can disclose about the new classes, like high level mechanics and playstyles? Not really. Um, the uh, we, we, we're kind of keeping that stuff under wraps a little bit until it gets closer to implementing it or to pushing it out. Like the. There's there's some like general stuff that you can kind of into it from just what they are like the falconer will be a like similar to rogue a high mobility class you know that's like lots lots of stuff it's doing um, fast attacking uh, you, know, you know there's lots lots of lots of stuff like that it'll be there'll be a falcon involved <laughs> you know there's, there's, not, there's not a lot of um, revelations I can share with it sorry. They'll fit really nicely into their classes. Um, there are, and there are certain abilities that we've kind of made and developed over the last couple of years um, with with the masteries that are coming in mind. Um, and I can pick them up. I've got two pairs of those already. Um, like, like for example, uh, Glacier is... Um, Kind of rune mastery, a little bit. So it's Sark rune master, but it's kind of rune mastery a little bit. Um, especially in the visuals, if you look at how those those spawn in. Um, same same with um, flame word. Like you get that those those visuals there. Like so we 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 tr we, we have sort of um, tried to preempt it with tie-ins from base class skills already. To the point where, like, one of the Warlock skills is actually going to... We're taking a base class skill, um, and it's going to be one of the Warlock Mastery skills. Uh, Alrighty then. Boom, boom, boom. Drop those Meteors! Yeah, every time it gets me. 
All right, will current dungeons get some overhaul in the future? Mm. Overhaul's a extreme word. Um, particularly the map generation. I mean, yeah, that's that's the map generation. I can see being looked at much more closely as as a, as a larger change. But the overall functionality of the dungeons, and I, I I really I really like those where they are. Um. Uh, some feedback here. It's it's really tedious to just always dodge random barricades in all of them. I love to see a bit more playful design around their unique mechanics. Yeah, I mean, there's um, yeah. I I think that the, it it falls victim to some psychological trap that we had no idea existed, um, and don't know enough about it to articulate properly the details around it. But I I would put. I, I, I'd, I'd put up for a suggestion to, of debate um, <laughs> that there's that there's likely some like feels bad moment or some negative re reaction to um, like if if you were to draw the same like pathways and have okay, let's, let's let's draw again because I'm not gonna explain as well. Say, say, say you had two random maps that you were that you were drawing. Whoa! Say you had two random maps that you were drawing. Number one and number two. And uh, num number one had these like pathways, and this is, I'm realizing it'll take a lot longer to to draw than I want. Um, so we're just gonna try and draw the same thing quickly. Uh, here we go. Let's let's say let's say you had these 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 two layouts, um, and then uh, in number one you you just like put a large barricade here, but you can still see this pathway here, right? Um, and then on this other one, instead you actually just had a line with no pathways. So you can't see the path that was there, um, and maybe maybe there's a way to get over here. Like, there's another thing that goes off to the side, and so it's like it's over there, but like there's no connection that's been blocked off. It's just like a full on severed connection i i think and i have nothing to back this up apart from observations and comments i've been reading about about uh like our game compared to other games and things like that is that i bet number one feels way worse than number two even though they are functionally identical um because i think in number two your brain goes oh there's no path there and in number one your brain goes oh the path got blocked I, 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 like and, and I, 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 I have nothing to back this up academically whatsoever. Um, so if anyone has any information on this that they think is relevant, I'm, I'm very interested to, to read it. Or watch it if it's a video or, or whatever. But like, um, and I think we're falling victim to this right now. I think that um, the experience people are having in the dungeons is pretty significantly hampered because they can see a path that was blocked rather than just not having a path there in the first place. Um, and I don't know how to fix that. I don't know, um, and, and like, like with, with our current system and the, the current tools we have available, we can't fix that. Um, so we, we, we need to figure out a way to fix that. If, if that's the problem, maybe it's, maybe it's another problem, I don't know. We did, um, we, di we did reduce the number of uh, blocks that get put in in general. So it's just, there's just more open paths on average and you'll, you'll run into that situation less just naturally forgot to take a question all right i'll i'll go back and look for your question oh it's a big one it's a three-parter whoo i can see why you didn't retype it out <laughs> uh so a random end game idea for the month fit okay so i, I just before i even keep going here I don't write down any ideas from the stream that people send in because I do get this a fair bit. Um, I will forget about this by the time the stream ends. Um, if you'd like the suggestion to be actually considered, because we do we do consider um, uh, 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 fan suggestions and and play suggestions and like like we we, we definitely look at those. Um, so if you do want to be considered, please submit this to the uh, forums or the Discord. There are suggestions and like to see or feedback and suggestions sections in each of those. Um, and, uh, and, and stuff gets pulled from there. That's, that's what I 
like I'll, I'll you know before bed I'll sit and I'll go through and read the suggestions for the day or I wake up in the morning I'll read some suggestions from from the night before that's something so like it, there's there's lots and you get feedback from the community so you get other people that start chatting about it and say like oh I really like that idea because XYZ or oh I uh, I think you could maybe you could update it by fi doing this other thing or oh it's kind of already in the game this way type thing or you know that sort of stuff so I, I think you get discussions and it really helps um, have, have the have the really stellar still ones rise to the top makes it easier for us to to filter through, but yes, I will, with that disclaimer out of the way, I will read it. Uh, Alright, uh, playing with the whole time thing, let's say that one of the unique echoes was based around a secondary character, so the boss of that echo would be a reflection of one of those characters, if you have any. Uh, and for the drops, as well as the arena any encounter is held in, would reflect the arena that was most uh, farmed by that character. Um, yes, yeah, so this is actually something I know. I know this keeps going with more posts, but I'll just note this is something we've considered doing, um, and I think we are more likely. So there's kind of a hint of this already in the game. Funny enough, um, the and 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 this is something that we haven't really settled on if we're going to do or not, or if we do how much it'll be. But I, it's an idea that a lot of us have like we've we've mentioned. It, we were like, could we do this? Yeah, probably actually, and and like we love this type thing. So it's sort of as far as we've gotten to this, and not actually implementing it. But having so the arena bosses, the arena the arena um, limited arena bosses. There's three of them, and they're 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 a player character essentially with specific player character abilities in a spec in a specific way. Um, and we, like, I think we tried to do some pretty cool and creative stuff there, and um, especially with side note the rogue one. Um, if you kill, it uses decoy, but it doesn't force you to attack it because that would be weird. But if you do kill the rogue's decoy in the limited arena boss fight before the decoy blows up, it drops a whole bunch of crafting materials, so it does incentivize you to attack it. So it kind of is like a decoy, you know, gets the effect. Anyways. Um, is we we've, we've considered being like okay end of uh, there's 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 um, ladder finishes uh, maybe the top three people from that ladder get we we take their builds or we take their we take their characters that they got those top three spots and then we design boss fights for the next limited arena season around those characters um, and so it wouldn't be just like a one to one straight like hey take those characters just use them because there'd be all sorts of weird stuff it won't make good boss fights. But it's like, okay, well, here's, like, we'll take as much of them as possible and make it into a fun boss fight. Um, maybe they're using a specific unique, and we'll, like, work that in. So you're, like, it's like you're playing against the person who won the arena last season type thing. Um, so we, we, we've toyed with ideas like this before. Um, uh, and, I, I like I said, I don't know if we can or will ever do something like this, but I, I do love this type of idea. Uh, so I'll just finish reading the rest of it. Then, then let's say another part that drop pool would be some actual equipment that that character uh, last had equipped, and depending on how long that character has been assigned to your account, some sort of uh, tiering system would be uh, how the possible legendary potential tier might assigned. Uh, basically, over time, the equipment in a lower time sense would continue to get stronger. The earnable equipment would be locked in or not. Maybe it would be dynamic, but uh, uh, based on the time of the first encounter with that particular secondary character, but you could go back to that character uh, and after some sort of condition is met, like additional game time, where you could reset the locked earnable equipment that could drop on other characters. This could play into continuously improving secondary equipment or characters indirectly when playing other builds. Question mark. Um... Yeah, so there's a lot of stuff there, and I kind of got lost in it. Um, I, w I would, uh, yeah, like the, the, we, we've 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 toyed around with ideas around this. And it's not something we're ready to to do, but um, it is really interesting. I do love it. the The intention behind it. Uh, I would say it's it's very unlikely that we would use your own characters. Um, if you're interested in some feedback on the idea, um, the main problem with using your own characters um, is that you end up with um, opportunities to cheese the system. Um, so, like going in with like a really terrible character, but with like one really awesome piece of gear on it, 
that you then uh, like bring your friend with in multiplayer to kill, specifically to have like your drop and duplicate over to them. So it's like this like weird convoluted trade system that you can set up then, and it's like it's then you, you start having like forum posts that are like, um, come kill this boss with me. It can drop this item, uh, and it's like you know you know there's 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 I think there's opportunities for abuse in there, be, making it your own character, but having it be um having it be like the, the the characters that were that that like won the season last last cycle uh i th i think is a really fun way to get that community interaction and involvement um and like semi immortalization of this character you know it's a nice reward to work towards th things like that and and, and just because this is not something that we have specifically planned for the game but more of a uh, a pitch i heard years ago <laughs> And people were positive towards, and just talking about the style of thing that I think we'd like to work. I think we may have crashed. Unfortunate. Server may have crashed. Uh, we'll just give it a minute. Uh, so then, to follow up, how careful are you with effects that? quote break game rules for example an item that allows crit multi-scaling dot damage uh think those are very very cool effects yeah i think um frequently the ones that break the rules are often the ones that do have an actual downside or uh or a big opportunity cost like that would be the like belts uh boot, boots that don't have movement speed on them you know that sort of thing um to to, to break break rules in some way and um yeah like putting a big downside on it. so I mean like uh, the singularity uh, like uh, 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 idol is uh, is a pretty good example of that I think where it's got it's got a big downside but it does kind of break the rules uh, in that it basically says hit builds don't need crit anymore can't use crit anymore um, so, so like it has this big downside, but it also has this like okay, well, you know, it doesn't need crit anymore because hit they do way more damage. And yeah, I know it's not quite powerful enough and all that sort of stuff. I think that we are going to slap this up. Whoa, no! I ruined it, Mike. What are you doing? You saw nothing. I have no idea what you're talking about. It was all a dream. It was a figment of your imagination. It's not real. <laughs> I'm just rebooting the game here. This is noob, noob streamer Mike 101. All right, let's answer another question while we're doing this. Uh, is there any plans to buff up lesser use skills for more build variations so players have more freedom? Uh, and feel less pressed to play what's meta. Um, so, I mean, the, there's... The short answer is yes. Uh, the longer answer is there's always going to be things that are meta, uh, and there always has to be things that are less powerful than there are things uh, in order for things to be more powerful. Um, so we, we do try to have as many possible build builds be uh, be viable for, for end game content and be viable for like pushing high-end content. Um... But we we also know we can't have uh, like it's it's the it's the, it's the classic if every build special no build special you know um, there needs to be there needs to be something that says hey this is this is this one's really sweet uh, compared to this other one and um, we do try and have as many options that are really sweet as possible but. Um, we, we don't specifically go and look at builds that are, are like abilities that are uh, maybe less popular or are, are underused and say like, okay, we need to buff this specifically. Um, it's, it's more of, hey, let's look at what sort of gameplay patterns and styles and fantasies we can enable um, and bring, bring forward as a possibility, as an option, something that, that is fun and viable and, and will work well. So yeah, we, we do want as many options as possible. Um... But we we're, we also look at it realistically in the sense that there's um, it's there's no point in attempting to make all of the things possible. Uh, 
All right, more questions. Uh, opposed to barriers to block the path, you could block them with portals that teleport you around to spots on the map. Uh, lets it be more puzzle labyrinthy like. Yeah, like like so you say you say that immediately what comes to mind was um uh the 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 <laughs> I'm gonna age myself here. In the um Pokemon red and blue and and yellow and green, um the the psychic gym in perhaps Saffron City? Don't remember the city. Um the psychic jam, though, it's it's just like it's nine rooms that each have four teleporters in them, except the center square, which has one, and the entrance, which has two, I think. But anyways, it's it's each teleporter takes you to a random tile, not random, but like it feels random at first. Um, and you have to use these teleporters to navigate your way to the to the the, the boss fight in the middle, the, the gym gym leader. Um, and I I. <laughs> I was never a huge fan of that one myself as a child, um, but uh, I, I do, I do, I do, I do. I know it's a little different in this situation. Um, it, is, it is a cool alter alternative, though. The big problem is, is that, um, so like, I, I don't know if that. Um, if that, if that fixes the, the problem of like, hey, I, I was trying to go right and the, the path I was traveling to go right, uh, stopped and there was a teleporter there and that teleporter made me go really far left. So I actually made negative progress in going right. Is that worse? I have no idea. Is it way better because you get to keep moving at least and keep killing stuff and you're keep progressing? Maybe, maybe it's way better. Ooh. That's actually uh, quite interesting. That's quite interesting too, actually. Okay, it's not not a huge amount of uh, stuff to work with forging potential. Endurance threshold. Mm, we don't really have much endurance stuff at all. I need new belts. My goodness, I need new belts. I mean, even with the botched stats, is that just... Yeah. Okay, we're going to do our belt first. Uh, yep. Uh, we're going to, we're going to chaos that. Sure, I mean, we're not using fire damage right now, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> that is such a huge upgrade. Oh my god. It's technically not strictly better. Uh but my god. It's 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 just better in every way. <laughs> it still has twenty four potential left too. That's going on the ground, you know. That's just that's getting thrown on the ground with impunity. Yeah, this is also a lot better. Flat endurance is better than the threshold. Um, And that did not go as well. Still went fantastic. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I, I I look for upgrades sometimes, every once in a while. That's great. Love it. All right. Hello, Mike. Hello. How are you? I recognize that name. Uh, it, it, your name, not mine. I do recognize mine, but yeah, my goodness. Oh my goodness. Uh, any chance we can have the exact number for the remaining cooldown or time for buffs and debuffs displayed on the UI? Um, maybe the classic answer of like, 
Uh, if you've got a suggestion, please put it in the suggestions box on the forums or whatever. Um, I, I, you know, the... Most of the time, I think the pace, the general pace of combat means having, um, uh, like, like a number in the tooltip that says, like, email server and it says, like, oh, there's two seconds left to scroll down or whatever. Um, I, I think that's generally problematic in that it's, um, not, generally not accessible enough, I think. As, as for, like, putting it on the actual icon, um... I can I can see the argument for that. I think it matters a lot more because we shy away, try and shy away from cooldown so heavily um, that like you're 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 not generally you don't want to be like looking at your bar going like okay <laughs> let me start over again. I th I think that having a timer on a cooldown so, so you you've seen you've got four abilities with with cooldowns. Um, and you're you're like you're 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 cycling them or whatever on cooldown and everything. Um, having that information on um, on your uh, sorry hot hot tip here the discovery the rooms of discovery don't use forge potential. Anyways, um, have you you have four four abilities here on cooldown and having the actual number on there so like um like here we have if we have the number on this to say like which one's going to come off cooldown first like we can see teleport's going to come off first but if we had that number it was ticking down and we we're like okay well this one's going to be here first i think that information and having that relative timer information for each skill is really important when you are focusing on a really heavy cooldown build typically in more of a in, in, a, in a in a game where you're positioning your moment to moment positioning on of your character is much less important and i guess what i'm describing here is more of an mmoe type uh type game so like you're, you're the, the 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 game that comes to mind for myself in my past with with a system like that is wow um and you you don't move that much in 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 a big boss fight in wow um not really, anyways. Uh, and you 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 spend a lot more time managing your cooldowns. In general, at least at least the builds I played did. <laughs> um, and like, I got you get you get add-ons to manage your cooldowns and things like that to help with it even more. Um, I think for the most part, we try to uh, to make it so you are. Um, you're, you're managing like one or two cooldowns. Usually, it's a utility skill and a movement skill, and maybe maybe a large offensive skill. That's sort of like your the your your, your sum total of cooldown management. In most situations, um, I mean, I I, I can see it as, as something that if someone's really used to it. Um, if you really want it, it's it's not it's it's not a bad idea. I guess I'm just talking about why we haven't done it so far. But if you'd like it to be considered, forms. All righty then. Also not bad. Thanks for the answers. Appreciate it. You're welcome. I don't know what question it was. I'm sorry because I uh, mostly just look at the question title, not the names as much. But. I just like the answer. Uh, all right. You previously said that the fifth Rune Master skill was back up for negotiation. Has that been filled yet? And did uh, the pet skill win out? It uh, it has been filled. Um, it is not a pet skill. And it was Falconer was the fifth skill that we were talking about. I think not Rune Master. And it has been filled, and it is a pet skill. I could be wrong. Maybe it was remaster as well. Uh, either way, remaster skills are all finalized. We've um, 
all of all the Rune Master skills have their skill trees design finished. Um, and implementation is well on its way. We actually had our first internal Rune Master playtest this morning. Just to get a feel for it. Mostly to see if the class mechanic was fun. <laughs> Spoiler alert, it is. Oh no! Ah, run! Avalanche! <laughs> oh, alright. Next question here. Do you have any plans on balancing? Crit, maybe capping the crit multiplier, but the singularity, uh, and add more of those types of items. Um, yeah, there's been sort of a, a nebulous crit we work in in the pipe for like a year now. Um, it's still, it's still, we, we, we're still working on it. It's still things that we uh, take into consideration when we're designing, like we've been designing remaster uh, abilities this this last couple weeks and um, the skill trees for them and we're like okay well let's do it this way in anticipation of that eventual crit rework that happens uh, alright you mentioned there was something in the to-do list regarding uh, show comparison frames Regarding show comparison frames for two slot items like rings and first weapons properly? Oh, 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 oh. Um, I see. So you're talking like, like hitting control here and, and having the right, the, 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 the set ring that's in my off ring slot show up. Um, yeah, I mean, I, no, nothing's been done on that. Oh. Uh going here when will we see t4 jewelra b build kill i don't know i would love to play b build that'd be fun i'm really enjoying meteor guys it's it's awesome i don't know what it is about it but just the like i'm gonna cover the screen in meteors it feels it feels you know i just realized it feels like it feels kind of like i'm playing an old jrpg um like like a, a final fantasy game and there's like big casting effect and it's just like brah whole screen blah 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 um that's what it is oh the final fantasy 9 um there's there's like a, a a tribute video to final fantasy 9 uh created in ue5 that is um that just came out um the memoria project and uh, if you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. It's just it's just a it's just a video. It's about half an hour, I think, um, maybe, maybe forty five minutes. But uh, oh, it's great! It's one of those things where you're like, you watch it and you're like, oh my god, I wish this was real. Um, very cool. Check it out. Uh, an X X E H year was is working on it. Or was working on it because it just finished. And Final Fantasy IX is my favorite Final Fantasy. So, <laughs> I, I'd actually been following it since like before, uh, <laughs> before they started on it, and they, they started like, I know you love Final Fantasy IX. I'm like, I know all about this. <laughs> I love it. Oh, let's do it. Let's do a staff. Let's do a staff. Let's go. Right. We don't have any runes of ascension. Let's not do a staff. <laughs> uh, sometimes I'm terrible. The new minion cold sword that was made with any particular mastery in mind? I don't think so. Um, I don't actually know the details. I, I can't remember the stats on it. But like minion cold. Um, first thing that comes to mind is Sabretooth. Uh, right. Did you ever see a 
breaking game rules of ability breaking game rule of abilities tied to classes do you ever see breaking game rule of abilities tied to classes <sighs> struggle with that one. I don't know what that means maybe class doesn't have its own skills but can pull one from each oh oh oh, oh only has four specialization slots for example I understand what you're talking about so like a um, uh, we're talking like a scion like a, 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 a POE scion type character that um, that doesn't have its own skill tree pool or doesn't have its own skill pool but it, it and like so the suggestion here is it's four four mastery slots um, but you can pull skills from multiple classes to do it um, we, we've we've can like so I you, I can do this in the editor um, with with dev tools like I can literally do this no problem um, and I've toyed around with it a few times to do to do some fun things, but it doesn't really work. Um, and there are there are a few really specific combinations that do really cool stuff and do work, um, but for the most part, like like the vast majority of situations, you just end up with absolute jank. It's just insane. And and the uh, the reason I started playing around with this the first time was because um, one of my buddies was playing a, a WoW mod, uh, Ascension, I think. Um, that lets you that, that it's like a draft your your skills as you level up you get handed like here pick one of these three skills instead of uh, here's the skills you get for leveling up in your class it's like a classless wow and and so that's kind of what you're what you're looking at is like a classless character in epoch and um, we, we we tie class identity into so many things like we tie class identity into relics chest helmets into um into into idols once you get past the, the one and two slot idols they're all class specific um like there's there's specific thing like weapons that can be held in offhand for each class there's like all the passives and and how they interact with specific skills like there's specific skills referenced in passives like lightning blast and volcanic orb here um and having this like rogue classless class in this this this, this blank slate is um i think it's really cool and um i i can see there being um uh, like an attempt to do something like this in the far future uh i don't know how that would work yet um i i get getting um individual class uh, abilities to appear on multiple skill uh, classes or, or any class I think is a more likely step for those types of um, like hard class because right now we're strictly class strictly type class and um, get, getting that to be a little softer I think the way that happens instead of having a, a new class that doesn't care about those rules I think you'd see individual skills that don't care about those rules so possibly skills that are um, maybe granted through uh, the, the wearing of a weapon or an item in general. So like, like okay, here, put on this uh, the, the, these boots, and you get this new movement skill that anyone anyone can have this movement skill, and it's specializable as long as you have these boots equipped. Something like that, I think, would be more likely to be seen, just in order to fit in with everything else in the game better and not cause problems. Uh, that's nice. All right. Doomstar. Uh, next question. Will there ever be puzzles added to the game thinking of something similar to what's currently in Pee-wee's uh, Labyrinth? Yeah, and... Um, hmm. Oh, another Echo broke. Mm, that's too bad. Well, let's give it a minute to make sure. Will there ever be puzzles added to the game? So I think that this is... Um, I really like the idea of puzzles in the game. Um... I think it's a tough thing to incorporate into this style of game. Not impossible, but tough. And I think I think a lot of times players end up fitting into a couple categories. 
with the puzzles, depending on how hard they are and how good you are at puzzles and if you've done them before and all that sort of stuff. Um, but I think it's really easy to have players fall into a situation where it's the first time you've ever seen it, and it's really hard and it takes a long time, and um, the reward ends up not being worth it. Because it took so long to do. Um, and and possibly it's, it's something that's mandatory for your character to go through, uh, and you end up struggling with it. And it ends up being uh, one of these things where you're like, I have to do this, and you end up bashing your head against the wall. And sometimes it can be a wall that you bounce off of. And then once you know how to do the puzzles and, and that sort of stuff, because um, there's got to be some sort of pattern to them probably. Once, once you get to the point where you're like good enough at it, or you've done it a few times, you know the answer and that sort of stuff. I think you can really easily get into a situation where it's no longer engaging, no longer interesting, because it is just a, oh, this is uh, left, left, right, left, 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 right, right, done. <laughs> or and and then you get, also get people who end up in the I'm going to go look up the answer online, and you don't get a you don't get that you don't get an interesting experience out of it. Um. So I, I, I think there's some pitfalls <laughs> uh, that that are uh, that, that are tough to do that, that make it really tough to implement well. I, I do think the PoE one is actually really cool. I really like that section of PoE. Um, and I, I the first time I got there, I was I was thrilled with it. And I uh, you know like it's it's it was really interesting and cool and and something different and. Um, yeah, so I, I think there's there's a lot of room for awesomeness to happen there. Um, it's not something that we're actively pursuing right now for Epoch, but I do think it's a cool option of place to uh, expand into in the future. All right, welcome back. Is there a way to see the time played on a specific character? I'm thinking of a command like slash play in other games. We do not have one. Um, I don't think we have the. I don't think we we track it even right now. All right, what about class combining like Grim Dawn? Yeah, and that's um like that's in in a way that's kind of the inverse. Uh, we kind of do the inverse of that right now. So I'm playing uh, a sorcerer, like spellblade off, <laughs> kind of thing. You know, like it's, it's the that that secondary class thing. You get access to like the main class. I'm playing a sorcerer, um, and there's this sort of um, extra stuff from another class that's there as well. Unruh Master as well will be there. So it's 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 uh, the, the the class combining system from um, Grim Dawn is 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 like take two things and put them together and make make a, a bigger picture. And we've more said, okay, well, we've got, like, pick, pick a primary and a secondary and a tertiary, or, or a primary and two secondaries, is, is more the, the route we've gone with that. I, I don't think combining those two systems would would really mesh well. Off topic, but Zizzern was saying today on stream how sweet Ellie is and wants to do 1.0 for you guys. Yeah. Um, Zizzern, Zizzern's been... Uh, it's been really cool to see Zizzern as such a... Like... Um, people people having... Sorry, is BRB screen still up? I, I put the BRB screen up in order to restart my game because I couldn't get into an Echo. And I can't get into that Echo again. Uh, so I'm going to put the BRB screen back up again to, to reset this. Still got a little time left in this. It doesn't take that long to reset, but I am still here. I'll come back. Don't worry. It's, 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 it's. Um, yeah, it's it's been really cool. This room's awesome. Um, we've we've done a bunch of stuff with this already, and uh, you know, it's, it's, that's that's one of the really wild things about working on this game has been. Um, be able to, to interact with and, and see these people play your game that you uh, you've like watched play other games for for years and that sort of stuff. Um, 
this is, is not the only one that of, of, of streamers that I've that we've had we like had player game that I'm like this is so cool this is like that that this is so cool moment um, where where you're just like I don't know it's I really like like stuff like that it's neat. I really, I really want to get uh, day nine to play. So my fingers crossed. He did. Um, he he played Wilson and he played uh, Magic Legends, um, which was Magic Legends was the uh, the, the the Magic RPG, um, the Magic the Gathering. That. Um, uh, I, I want like I love Magic the Gathering so much. Um, the game. And I, I I wanted to love like I love RPGs and I love magic. I'm like, this game I am the target audience for this game. Oh, it sucked. And like there was so many awesome things about it. And like the, the 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 like the underlying mechanic of how you how skills got on your bar that on un, that underlying mechanic that was so core to the gameplay um just didn't click and it was like you I, I i really wanted to like it and like it was it was so close to being awesome um and may, maybe if i'd pushed with it with it longer and like really dug in i was just, we were so busy when it came out um so i like i you, you put 30 hours into it and I thought I thought I got a pretty good feel for the system um, but like oh I wanted to like that game so bad and like I, it was it was really cool to, to, to like to take control of this planeswalker in in a more active role and like build your own planeswalker in, in this more active role and and um, kind of how it would feel to to be a part of that world more Um and that the, the the fact that the abilities on your bar were not in fixed positions and were not the same abilities at any given time, like like it, 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 they randomly cycled out. And, and if, if you're unaware, if you use abilities, like I say, I use meteor here, and then meteor would go to the bottom of my deck, and I would draw a new spell off the top of my deck and put it where meteor is instead. So as you're using and drawing abilities, they get cycled into new slots on your bar, and so you have like 30 abilities instead of six, or or five or four or whatever, and um, they're they're always in different spots in your bar, and you never know which which is there. So you're constantly having to like manage your your bar, your spell bar at the same time. And it was like it's a really cool idea on paper, and it, like it really draws home, it, like brings that card drawing mechanic and that 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 like that because it's a card game and it's got its roots in that card game. It really brings it r brings it home, and it's it's like it's thematic and it it's it's really interesting and cool, and it's just not fun. <laughs> it's so sad that it's just not fun. Oh, sorry. That game was, was so hyped for it. And I thought they did a lot of things really well. Um, but and yeah, it's, there, there was some monetization problems too. All right, you know what? A rare occurrence has happened. I'm all cut up. I'm gonna put up the. Real quick here. This is this is what showed up on screen. At least the last teaser I've got. Last little teaser I've got. Um, this is in like air quotes T pose. Um, little little preview here. And I know I know, I'm sorry. This this accidentally this is showed up when I did the uh, BRB screen, so I don't use it very much. Slide that down there, leave it there. <laughs> All righty then. Oh, 
Oh, we played Tickets to Ride last night. Thought I had it in the bag. I was, finished finished counting my points. I had like 138 or something, which is pretty good. Um, <laughs> go to count my buddy, who's, who's only ever played once before. He's like 156 or something. I was like, oh, gross. Just crushed it. Not, not bad boots. Those are those are potentially pretty awesome boots, actually. Let's get those rolling. Zap, 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 zap. Speaking of class fantasies, what fantasy slash archetype do you think were not well explored in RPG genre? Would you like to see maybe Ellie, maybe not? Uh, bards. I don't think I don't think is same answer for both questions, uh, bards. I don't think bards have been because like like if we're gonna if we're gonna look at classes for ARPGs, um, a really easy place to look for inspiration is like D and D, Pathfinder, like tabletop pen and paper era, RPGs, classic ones, or or whatever the setting is. Um, and you can you can adjust the theming based on where, whatever the setting. But yeah, I think I think pen and paper uh, RPGs is a great place to look for. Um, class inspiration. I think bards is a very underrepresented um, uh, class archetype in RPGs in general. And like you get you get little touches of them, and you see you see things in um, mobas. You see bards in mobas all the time. Um, but yeah, not not really in RPGs and. Uh, I, I think part of that is um, it's it's hard to incentivize a a bard playstyle in a classless ARPG because it's so specific um, and and so different than um, than pretty well every other class like like a fighter and a barbarian have a lot of overlap. Um, and like a sorcerer and a mage, or a sorcerer and a wizard. I'm gonna use Pathfinder uh, examples here. Sorcerer and a wizard have uh, have really a lot of overlap in in their themings, and there's a lot of mechanical differences there. But there's a lot of overlap there, and um, so you can have, for example, if you're if you're if you're looking at RPG themes or classes, you you can have um, if, if you're classless even, you can have themes though that um, you ha you can have skills and items and things like that that overlap with multiple themes um, and archetypes and because you, you could put a, a fireball in the game and you could you could have that theme work for a wizard or a sorcerer um, uh, archetype in a classless system and um, I think that you know you put you put like like per perform, like perform, or um, you know, like play, play your instrument, or you know, like um, something like inspiring shout. You you start, like, you get a little bit, a little bit of bleed in from like D two Barb, and there's like a singer class there and everything. It's it's you, you get you get little pieces of it here and there, but you don't get the full thing. I don't think um, because when you when you get into hard classed games. There's so many more, uh, more typically appealing archetypes uh, that, that that get prioritized in hard class games, like Last Epoch, for example. We don't have a bard class because we've, you know, there's a lot more people are interested interested in playing a necromancer than a bard, uh, a bard. Um, so yeah, you, you get, you know, um, but I'd I'd love to see a, a bard class, a bard, you know, theming. Um, like a perform, like like a I mean, like a tricks, like even I, I think it would have to be a full separate class, um, and you can do it as sort of like a uh, like a trickster uh, performer. I, I I don't know all the I don't know the base class and all the masteries are. Maybe you could do it as part of a rogue, but I uh, I don't think it fits well enough with the other masteries. Um, I'd love to see that. Oh, right. 
much. The stat system is awesome! Thank you. Do you plan on implementing affinities like in PoE to make dropping off items smoother? Yes. Probably won't be exactly the same. Um, we'll, we'll look at how... Um, like, we'll look at how we can improve that process of dropping off items into your own stash, specifically for Last Epoch and how our stash is built and how our game is built and that sort of stuff. So it might not look... Oh my gosh, it feels like there's something right on the tip of my nose. Um, it'll, it'll, it'll be a little bit different probably, and we'll, we'll look at just how we can improve the process of dropping off gear in the stash for Last Epoch. Um, but I think Affinity is a good it's a good example of how it's done well in other games. And um, we, 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 we would probably just try and design something from scratch for ourselves. It might look very similar, I don't know. But as a goal, it's a good goal. Two spell damage shards. Love it. Uh, all right. Bard mastery for a rogue in the future then? <laughs> I, I, for the rogue, probably not. I think I think it would end up being a different class. But maybe. It's possible. Uh, I mean, if we talk... Uh, if we talk Ragnarok online, then the bard uh, is a bow user there. So, yeah. That's a good point. I, I have not played Ragnarok online. Uh, not Ellie related, but are you a Baldur's Gate fan? Are you planning on playing Baldur's Gate 3? I kind of missed Baldur's Gate as a kid. Um, I uh, it was it was it just wasn't quite. I was playing um, uh, more RTSs at the time, and uh, and and uh, 4X games was was the big stuff and and. Um, I guess more like adventure RPGs. This is more the types of stuff I was playing, like action adventure RPGs. And um, I don't know the, the 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 game the gameplay is as like as a kid just didn't click. Um, and I kind of I kind of missed that whole genre of like CRPGs. Um, I have played some since there was a Pathfinder one I played recently. It was a ton of fun. Um, But yeah, it's I'm I'm not super hyped for um, uh, I'm I'm not super hyped for Baldur's Gate three just because I I didn't grow up with it I don't have a, a big history of it and I it's just I, I I've seen the trailer oh the trailer was cool they did a really fan like the trailer was almost enough to bring me over on its own um, but I'm like uh, there's eighty games in my to playlist. Yeah. All right. Next question. Oh, old Lord of the Rings online. Okay, there's people. There's, there's bard classes. Monster Hunter. Uh, have Have you seen Monster Hunter Hunting Horn as a version of the bard class? I have not. And uh, Latro had a healer that does heals with instruments and ballads like inspirations. I do remember that. Um, and I did play that when I played Latro very briefly. Speaking of Lord of the Rings and Magic, coming out soon. A little disappointed in the power level of Gandalf in general. I was kind of hoping for more, but, you know, decent. The Maddox are good. Lot, a lot of awesome flavor wins there. A lot of really good cards, too. Trying to make food good. Not sure how well that's going to go over. We'll see. Huge Lord of the Rings nerd, so, like, you know. Obviously going to play a bunch. <laughs> Alright, is there a possibility in uh, Last Epoch to... Last Epoch Lord to have mechanical themed class. Mech limbs or building turrets or summoning mech minions. Um, like, yes. Yes. There's there's room-ish. Um. I, I think there's um I I I, I think there's um I, I I don't want to speak. I, I'm not I'm not a uh, I'm I'm not big with the lore 
uh, details and backgrounds, so I, I do not claim mastery over lore uh, at all. And um, I, I think there's possibly room for some like, um, how do you like like ancient futuristic things, where it's like so old it's advanced type style, um, which which like you can you can be like okay well it's like old and broken down and therefore it's not as 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 good as it could be or something like that like there's there's room for like why is it not op as f well because reasons. Uh, and, and I can see it being something that, that gets explored in, in the future, maybe, like, we're, we're looking for, uh, new stuff to put in a patch in the future, but, like, it's, it's not, um, I wouldn't put it as a, something that's coming soon at all. If it, if it ever comes. But I think it'd be cool, I think it'd be really cool. There was like uh, uh, new, uh, one of the newer Torchlight games had like a, a, a like a rail conductor or like an engineer that like you could build a train or something. I don't even know what it was. Um, that seemed really cool. It seemed, it seemed like it was it was new, interesting, different, that sort of stuff. Um, I don't know how fun it was to play or anything, but. Oh, <laughs> ads. I. Uh, have no control over ads that are run here. Um, I didn't know ads ran here, actually. That's interesting. Is that just something that they ads run on every stream? I don't, I don't think I set that up. Either way, if we are collecting ad revenue, it all goes to charity. But sorry about that. Oh, Twitch automatically plays ads. Oh, didn't know that. If you're an affiliate or higher, you get ads. Interesting. I think that's like, that's the, like, it's it's required to hit. If you're, I, 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 I don't know anything about this. I'm sorry. The only streaming I've done is this stream every week. <laughs> but I assume what it is is that if you're high enough to have the, to be allowed to run. Oh, I could on the boss. I was at 400. If you're high enough to uh, to run. Oh, it's past time. We're over time. Oh, one more echo. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, if you're high enough to, to be able to have subs, they auto run ads, I guess, is what I'm assuming it probably is. Zap, 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 zappity zap, 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 zap. Also, um, I know there's some recent changes that did that are coming down the pipe or have come down the pipe for advertising in Twitch. Um, and I could be wrong about this. And so if I am wrong and someone knows better, please tell me. As far as I'm aware, it doesn't affect us because our stream is purely for charity. Um, and because there's not like a charity that's paying us to promote their charity, but rather just everything that happens is just for the charity uh, directly. I think, I think, I think it is uh, totally unaffected. And I think we're also, the, the, the banner ad we do have is small enough anyways, I think. I think. <laughs> uh, all right. A couple more questions here. We're, we're a little over time, but I'm having fun, so let's keep going, right? On the mech theme, I was more thinking Warhammer 40k Space Marine Legion. Ah, they replaced their limbs and organs with mechanical parts to even add more. They just hate flesh. Um, I I really doubt we'd ever go that far. I think I think that would be like. Uh, it's 2033 and the game's still going and, and we're running out of ideas type type uh, type expansion. Um, so I hope I hope we get there. <laughs> That'd be sweet. But no, I, I um I I don't think we'll get there. Sorry. we I know we very intentionally steered clear of that type of theming in the past. Oh. 
I remember your original streams making skills on stream. Yeah, that's a long time ago. That's like, that's like four years ago. I only, I only did a, like a dozen of those ever. Um, at, at most, maybe even less. <laughs> I just mucked around and, and I was just like, I'm just going to turn stream on and just work while I stream. Uh, yeah. That was a long time ago. That's cool. It's, it's, it's neat. It's very neat that you've uh, been here long enough to remember that. So that's cool. Thanks for sticking around. All right. Are there any topics that people never ask about but you want to talk about more? Not really. I um, I'm pretty liberal with my ramblings. <laughs> um. But if I have something I feel like talking about, I just gotta talk about it. Whoa, that was close. Fools. Fools. <laughs> that did way less damage than I expected. Oh, I just unloaded everything on him. Not good, not good. Why did that do so much more damage? I genuinely do not know why that second meteor shower just nuked him and the first one did like tickle tickle tickle. Oh well, we got there. No big deal. Easy mode. <laughs> Okay. Well, that'll just about do it for us today. Let's see if there's any more. Uh, MTX questions. Are there any plans for MTX that change pet appearances or shape-shifting appearances? Oh, like uh, like in-game pets. Like uh, like change your, uh, your, your saber tooth or change your bear or change your falcon and things like that. Yes. Um, we do have skill MTX planned. Um, you can see that down here. And um, those will include... Uh, pets so like yeah your your necromancer pets your um beastmaster pets your everything pets we we do we do plan to have skill mtx for each class each each skill uh, eventually Th those will take quite a while to get in those are not uh being worked on yet so that's that's a ways down the line um so don't expect those anytime soon <laughs> uh but um yeah they're they're in the works in the works all right um, that's going to do it for me today. Thanks for coming out. I had a ton of fun. I hope you did too. If you asked a question that I didn't answer or I didn't answer the way you hoped I did, uh, please feel free to head on over to our Discord, uh, our forums, uh, Reddit, uh, other places too. Uh, there's people active all over the place. we got a great community that's answering questions all the time as well. Um, and yeah, even just in-game chat. Um, I will be back same time, same place next week for stream. Um, that's about it, really. Let's go. Let's go check out the podcast that's starting here. If you don't know, Pray the Pig runs a podcast that starts directly after the stream ends. Let's go check it out. Have a good time. Be nice. See you later. Have a good day.